Before doing this worksheet, we're going to talk about three different formulas that you may use during this worksheet. The first one is distance is equal to one half acceleration times time squared plus your initial velocity times time plus your initial position. Now usually you don't have to take that whole formula. You're just going to have to use distance is equal to one half acceleration times time squared. And that's usually the formula that you're going to deal with. But if they do give you an initial velocity and an initial distance, you will have to use this original formula. The next one that you need to know is that velocity is equal to your starting velocity plus the acceleration times time. Um, and sometimes your initial velocity is zero, in which case you can take out the, the v naught, and you're left with v is equal to acceleration times time. But you'll be using one of those two depending on what you're given, which is why you do the given before and the unknown before you start writing down your equation. Third step, <coughs> third type of equation is going to be v squared is equal to v naught squared, your initial velocity squared, plus 2 times acceleration times distance. And between those three formulas, you should be able to answer most of the questions that you'll that'll be on the worksheet. For our first problem, we have a bus moving at 25 meters per second. The driver steps on the brakes and the bus stops, which means that our V2 is equal to 0 meters per second. It stops in three seconds. Our question then becomes, what is the average acceleration of the bus while braking? So what we're going to do is we're going to first identify all of our given values. So if it's a number, it's a given value. This is our initial velocity, or v naught. This is our second velocity, or our v. And then this is a time. And we'll just write those down. So v naught is equal to 25 meters per second. V, v is equal to 0 meters per second. And then t is going to be 3 seconds. Now that brings us to our unknown. Now our unknown is says what is the average acceleration? So acceleration then becomes our unknown. So now we've got to find a formula that has a, t, v, and v naught. Well, the formula that has all of that is the one that I showed you at the beginning, and that's the second formula, v is equal to v naught plus a times t. We cannot use that formula the way it's written because we're not looking for v, because we already know what v is. What we don't know is a, and a happens to be right here. So to solve for a, what you're going to have to do is isolate it. And the way to isolate it is to subtract, first off, subtract both sides by v naught. Okay? And that'll give you v minus v naught is equal to a t. And then your last step, your last step will be to divide both sides by t. So I divide that side by t, that side by t, and I'm left with a is equal to v minus v naught over t. Uh, my last, my next step involves substitution. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, these values that are over here. So 25 is going to go here. 0 is going to go here, and 3 is going to go here. So I plug those values into my equation, and I see that acceleration is equal to v, which is 0, minus 25, divided by, divided by 3. Okay? And this is meters per second, and this is in seconds. Now, when I do that, I'm going to get a number like negative 25 divided by 3. And so that gives me a final answer, if I divided this correctly, of 
0.3 meters per second squared. And that is how you do part A. Now, part B, we continue that, and it says, suppose that the bus took twice as long. Instead of taking three seconds, we're going to take six seconds to stop. How would the acceleration compare to the acceleration in part A? Well, you know if it's going to take more time to stop, that means that the acceleration should be less. So we 8.3 was our initial acceleration. Our, acceler our new acceleration will be something less than that because it's taking more time. And we have all of the same value. So our V naught, our V naught is still going to be 25. Okay, 25. Our V is still going to be zero. But our t this time is going to be 3. Uh, we will still have the same acceleration. Acceleration, or, we're not, or we don't have the same acceleration, but we're still looking for acceleration. We're still going to be, uh, we still have to solve the formula. We're still going to start with this formula. But we're going to, and we're going to rearrange it the same way to say acceleration is equal to v minus v naught over t. And then when we plug in our values, it'll be pretty much the same, except instead of 3 for the time, we're going to plug in 6. So it's still going to be 0 minus 25 meters per second divided by 3 seconds. And that's going to give us, a, a not 3, but 6, 6 seconds, 6 seconds. Let me erase that and put a better put it in a little bit cleaner. So this is going to be 6 seconds, not 3 seconds. So it's negative 25 divided by 6, which should give you 4.2. 4.2. Let me get the 4.2 as your acceleration. OK? And it is less than our original. So it works out splendidly. Good luck on the rest of these problems. Remember, try to do as much as you can. Okay? If you struggle with the equation part, just try to come up with the best equation that you can and then solve and simplify and solve. Also, at the very least, you guys can all get the, uh, the givens and the unknowns for all of the rest of these problems. Good luck, and I will see you guys next time.